Hello everybody, Skelebjorn, your video gaming viking here saying, hey, how's it going? Yeah, I'm back on the Space Engineers in a big way, and, um, been updating some of my mods and actually, uh, put a couple of new ones out, and I've been using them on my new Pride and Joy. Um, I've done a few changes to the original blueprint. This thing used to have four radiating arms of um, solar panels and hydrogen farms and oxygen farms and such and only four gun turrets. Well, with the current uh, situation on the server that I'm playing on, my own private server with a whole bunch of friends, um, pirates. So, I decided what the heck, I'm going to have my base crank out a ship. Well, I grabbed my lists and I looked at a whole bunch of the stuff that I've designed over the last year and a half, two years, and I went, nah, they're too big, I can't launch them from a moon, and my base is on a moon and I need to be able to build this thing, and there's no way I'm going to haul the shit back and forth. So, um... I grabbed the SSS conveyance, the Scalabjorn Space Systems conveyance, which was originally just a survey ship. And I have totally, totally updated it. I've taken the docking ports off the main hab and processing section and put them onto the uh, uh, resource section. I have um, removed, like I said, a couple of the radiator arms of uh, oxygen farms and solar panels and put instead the docking pads are there ventrally and dorsally and I've added a couple extra weapon pillars I've got uh, the long-range Albion um, salvo rocket launchers I've got one on each quadrant ventral dorsal port starboard um, I've got uh, port and starboard are on the aft section. Ventral and dorsal are on the mid section. And then ventral and dorsal in the aft section, I have the Albion longer range 20 millimeter point defense cannons. Now, these are modified with a slightly longer range. They still have the same inaccuracy at distance, but their burst mode has been changed to 20 rounds versus the original 10. And I changed the color as well, because it was just too bloody glaring. And uh, midsection, I've got those port and starboard. Now, on the forward section, I have my upgraded version of Darth Biomex um, laser cannons. Uh, and these are severely beefed. These things have a 4 kilometer range. Their damage output has been upped but their power consumption is there too. I've got those ventral and dorsal. Now, I'm doing this video partially because some people have been saying these things are not targeting pirates. Well, uh, I beg to differ guys. I can't reproduce your problem. Uh, these things are quite easily, handily targeting pirates and, uh, and um, meteors and all that stuff. Now, port and starboard forward section. I have my upgraded range and power plasma cannons. I went with the plasma cannons out of the uh, other mod uh, versus the laser cannons because I already have laser cannons. Um, and I've been really, really tweaking these plasma cannons so that they don't have the, uh, the premature detonation of previous round what was happening was um, the next shot would come out and somehow it would be detonating the previous shot so I'm um, gonna give you a quick tour inside here the upgraded rotating airlocks I love these airlocks thank you very much these are absolutely fantastic I've got these uh, port and starboard and then the big gate that is uh, on the dorsal area, the upper area. Notice, gravity is the other direction that you kind of figured it would be, eh? Because this ship 
the decks are designed and placed in such a way as if thrust was gravity. If forward thrust was gravity, these are the way the sh decks would have to be. Now, of course, we've got artificial gravity in here, but uh, that was the premise. Old design revamped for a new age kind of thing. Um, too many resource uh, re refinery units uh, one with a speed and yield module. I've got uh, one oxygen generator, one large cargo container, the resource spine where uh, the solar panels and the farms are, that's all small cargo containers. So lots of cargo space in this sucker. Uh, there is uh, an AVA ore crusher. There is um, a standard assembly uh, assembler. Uh, there's a build and repair system. I I believe there was 14 standard batteries. I didn't go with any modded batteries. Okay, now, of course the ladders. I love the ladder mod, but it's just easier to do this way. Airlock here. This is at the hangar deck. Is pressurized separately. Here's the hab area. Lots of space in here can be completely modified. Cryo bed, bunk beds. Lockers for storage of personal gear. The one piece galley. Of course, the facilities, the shower. Um, medical facility is up here. With a storage shelf and another storage locker. Uh, controls for uh, turning on the industrials on and off, overriding the thrusters, uh, overriding the turrets and overriding the shield units. This you know, ship's got three large block small shields in it. Now, where do you control this thing from? Look up. There's your bridge. Yeah, gravity inverted, man. There's uh, ladders going up, and I have left this area open kind of as a cheat because I want to be able to just get into the cockpit without having to climb the ladders. I did originally have... Uh, um, a glass pane there, but I removed it. I may put it back in, in a later iteration, but now, uh, jetpack, because I want to fly up here and show you guys. Small block control panels. All small block L, uh, LCD readouts with uh, the most up to date. My own modified version of the uh, M Master LCD 2, uh, modified in that it's got. Uh, info for all of the mods that I use so it's got the modded ammos and stuff like that in it um, some general control buttons right here not that they ever get used just for look they are they are live though um, a running inventory screen um, functional weapons screen there power outputs there shield readout scrolling uh, weapons readout all that kind of stuff. GPS coordinates. Hydrogen tanks. Yes, this thing's got both hydrogen and ion thrusters. I mean, it, originally it was a survey ship. This thing does not have a lot of push. Jump drive, of course. It's using a small block uh, jump drive. It's only got... With the current mass of this ship, it's only got a range of 512 kilometers, but hey, that's enough. Okay. Like I said. She ain't the greatest handling ship. But she handles. Now, I'm going to turn my HUD on because the reason why I am doing this is I have another conveyance out there. Exactly the same loadout. There it is over there. Oh, I got a pirate ship. I got two pirate ships now. One of them's a conveyance, which is not going to go away because I spawned that in. The other one, what do we got? I have not gone up against one of those yet. You know what? We know where the conveyance is. I'm going to take a GPS just to be safe because it's not moving. There we go. We've got one here so we can come back. Um, I'm going after that. Now, I've got 
weapons loadout controls here, all of the turrets are on. So the forward weapons, the uh, laser turrets, the plasma turrets, the PDCs and the salvo rockets that are all on and I do have settings here to be able to control all the turrets manually. <laughs> I haven't uh, reassigned them by ventral dorsal but they've all been renamed by ventral dorsal port starboard so in your uh, inventory screens and control screens you can see them. Anyways, we're going hard. We're gonna get this sucker. Oh, the groans of a uh, big block ship accelerating. We're going to take it on attack. Okay, that's... I don't like going full speed. I am not going to touch the weapons. I'm going to let all of the AIs do the firing. Shields are on already. I'm going to grab one of the turrets just for a second. That's the conveyance. Okay. Course correction. Inertial dampeners are back on. Coming into weapons range. I want maneuvering speed available. I want to be able to surprise his lead. Coming into weapons range. Forward lasers will kick in soon. They'll kick in at four kilometers. I really should put a camera right on the nose, but I've got a uh, hydrogen thruster right there. Coming into range. I'm gonna let the lasers kick. There they go. So there you go, guys. Proof. They do hit pirates. Ah! I hit F instead of V. Coming broadside. I want the other weaponry to kick in soon. Holding off. His antenna's gone. I have no idea where he is now. There we go. PDC's kicked in.
on, salvos. Kick in. I want to see you guys fire. Is there nothing left of it? It's pieces. I think I see pieces. <laughs> okay, well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. So, that is against a standard stock pirate. The next fight, I don't think is going to go so good, because they're evenly matched weapon for weapon. <laughs> it's going to be a riot. Okay, hang on, I'm going to do a quick save. Back up. Okay, so I got to back up and I got the game itself. Alrighty. Let's go get another one. That was just good timing. I didn't expect there to be another pirate, but. Now, remember, this conveyance here is not moving, so it's going to be a sitting duck target. No speed mods in the world, by the way. 100 meters a second for everything. Going to grab a camera. That's the dorsal one. I want the, sorry, the ventral one. I want the dorsal one. Oh yeah, one thing I didn't mention. The ship has a solar... Yeah, <laughs> PDC's kicked in on the meteors. I think those guns are still a little bit too glaring. I think I'm going to have to reduce the, uh, the weapon trail just a touch. Almost looks like laser blasts. Color is good, but the trail leaves a little bit to be desired. It's it's just too glaringly bright. It doesn't look like a munition. It looks like a laser, so I'll just pop into the mod and update that after the vid. Reduce it by half. Well, if the... Uh, G-Force effects uh, mod was loaded in this world, there would be no danger of blackout, that's for sure. I wish there was a block that didn't have this corner here, because on the outside is a wedge, and this is in the way, and I want to be able to see better. Okay. Now, Weapons are hot there and set to the same range. So this is going to be a slugfest, but I'm moving. come in from behind, the lasers won't get me. There we go. Lasers are kicking in. Shields are taking hits. Ship's taking hits. I'm going to evade it a little bit. There we go. Oh, antennas are gone on the conveyance, the other one. I didn't lose.
use an upper laser? Okay, I gotta angle it. There we go, both lasers are firing. Oh, PDCs were kicking. Dampeners on. Gonna broadside. Oh, look at those PDCs go! There you go, the rockets. Get close enough for the plasmas to start firing. Oh. Oh, I'm taking hits. Okay, I'm shutting off the uh, salvos. I'm going with the plasmas at the nose. Plasmas are firing. Oh yeah. Nose of the ship is hurting. Salvo's on. Oh yeah, baby! Look at this thing go! Oh yeah, hurt. She's getting hard to maneuver. She's taking too many hits. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! <laughs> there goes the shields! Oh my god! My seat ejected! My seat ejected! Watch this happen. Oh, that's just hilarious. I love it. They're just gonna slug it out. They're just gonna slug it out that there's nothing left. Another debris hit. Wow. So I think the deciding factor between these was the fact that one was piloted and the other one wasn't. It had actual guidance, but oh my god. Yeah, the nose is gone. The nose is completely gone. Oh, this could. Yeah! Nose is completely gone. Uh, it looks like I got batteries been shifted and sticking out of the back section here. Oh my god. Uh, I gotta turn my inertial dampeners off. There we go. <laughs> She's a hulk. There's nothing left of it. Oh, good God! She's got it. That collision just took out the complete interior. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's the deciding factor. I mean, it's it's not a draw in any means. They're both dead. Um, but 
the survival factor was the fact that it was actually piloted. It was actually it, because it was piloted. Okay, thrusters have finally brought it to a stop. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that, that oxygen farm tore right through. Right through. There was no stopping. <laughs> oh! Mr. Scott! Mr. Scott! I need you to fix the ship! Ship, sir. Ship? What ship? I see a pile of scrap metal. <laughs> There's no way I'm fixing that, Captain. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at this. I got missiles. <laughs> Hydrogen tanks didn't blow. Jump drive didn't blow. Mother of God. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. The SS Conveyance sends its regards to the pirate scum. Took down one stock quite easily, but went up against the same class of weapons. The deciding factor, the fact that it was piloted. If it, if it hadn't been piloted, or if it had been uh, an AI, um, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Scalabjorn saying, kick some pirate ass. See y'all later. Ciao for now.